Well, hey guys, welcome uh, to Pacific Northwest Fishing Adventures. Uh, my name is Jeff. I'm usually the guy that's always on this, you know, been creating this thing, taking my kids out and so on. I think I've talked about uh, my old town Sportsman PDL 120 uh, kayak, and I want to kind of show off some of the features that I've done to it. I have yet to see anybody do uh, the downrigger setup I got because I've seen everybody else mount them in different places. But anyways, we'll go through it and hopefully this answers some questions and help guys like, you know, how do I do what and this and that. So I'm hoping that can uh, help you guys out. So let's take a look at my uh, PDL 120, get some coffee on. Let's see how this works out. So here's my PDL 120 Sportsman on a custom kayak trailer that I built. Uh, extended the tongue and so on. Added little features, added PVC pipes. Those are six inch PVC pipes in there. Made sure I put a bracket in between, make sure it's solid and it goes to the back. I uh, also have a GoPro mount, it's a selfie stick, and actually put a screw through the bottom, and it goes up, and then so on. I also plug in my cord, I know it's blue, it's, it works, but I just plug it in and just record all day for that, and then it runs down and goes right to my portable battery, so uh, I also made a... Uh, I didn't really like having a hole below, so I took a cooking sheet, actually cut this open. Hold on a sec, it looks like my cord's stuck. Ah, here we go. So, made a cooking sheet out of it. Also perfect for transportation. Add a little cord. Pull it out here. So as you can see, it's, it's nothing pretty. It just works for me. And then I pad it, put a pad on the bottom, makes it perfectly sealed. So when I put it in place, like, like that, it just fits in there and keeps the water from coming up. So perfect for transportation. So it's kind of a cool mod. I think that was like, what, six bucks? And then Harbor Freight, I had like an extra pad. Uh, I just, adhesive the bottom of it and called it so so I use my Scotty rod holders right here I like those better they're close it's right below the seat I really didn't want to have like holders way up anymore it's kind of a pain in the butt also made a custom uh, cooler which is really cool because I can actually take my wheels and just set them in the back and that works out pretty good and as you can see below here there's the PVC pipes right there, perfectly matched. So that works out pretty good. Cool. But then I took it a step further. I added a downrigger to it. Let me show you. So I got my fish finder and so on, but then I have my Canon downrigger. And everybody usually mounts, uh, let's see if I can put this back a little bit. Everybody usually mounts this behind back here and I really didn't really like that because I want to be able to see the actual depth and I want to be able to read it I mean I'm sure you can read it for the fish finder but uh, for me I wanted to actually have it where I could see it and it's easy access so uh, it does have the counter on it and as you can see it's super solid I mean it's just like any other cannon down rigger drops and does the job but as you can see ain't going anywhere it's super solid i definitely took it out today and it was beyond successful i mean there's my kokanee i even got a big cut in there i uh, cut a lot of different things so worked out pretty good but you know how do you mount something like this on your old town well let me get my uh, rod holders out of here real quick and i'll show you so i'm gonna flip it out Pull my seat up. We're gonna flip you guys around. There we go. 
I'm gonna put you guys like right here. Yeah, maybe like that. Get the phone to sit still for a second. Try in here. Let's do it at an angle then. So as you can see right here, this is the downrigger, right? Well, there's this aluminum bracket as you can see. All you gotta do is pull the pin and it just slides right out. How simple is that, right? So these brackets right here, you can, uh, I'll put a link to where you can get them. I got a few ideas. Most of these guys put these brackets behind the seats, but mine is actually right here. So these two are actually gone through the hold. You go through the center hatch here, put the screws on, and then these two are actually in the track and I actually custom made a plate, which, um, I'll show you that real fast without flipping the phone. Looks like that. So I took it out, you know, some some of the cutting board, and I actually made a smaller piece and this piece, and then I just adhesive it, drill the hole, and there you go. So that works out where you get. So put you guys back real quick. Sorry for the uh, the late reactions, but it goes in there just like this. Put it in and clicks. It's in there. It's not going anywhere. I actually added a little bit of a pad at the, on the actual aluminum too, so it makes it super solid and no drama. So, yeah. Is to also cut down the, the shaft a little bit. So, cause when I'm in the boat, I can just reach over, like literally my fingers are this far out and I just beep, pull it in. So I'm hoping this hel helps you guys a lot because uh, Nobody likes getting down riggers you can't see. And you, I like to know the actual distance uh, when my down rigger is down instead of playing the guessing game. So the, I actually added braid to this one. I used a regular basic Scotty clip and it works really good. So that's the uh, breakdown on that. Uh, on my trailer too, I highly recommend getting self, self uh, ratcheting straps. They're super nice. Just push it and you know, just boom, you're done. Just pull it across, put it through and you're good to go. So hopefully this helps you guys a little bit. Uh, I've been trying to figure out a lot of good ideas, but I love this one and I am definitely looking forward to using this uh, downrigger in the future. As I said, it's super successful. It was a good day today. Uh, no dramatics and so on and uh, yeah what can I say it was a great day so hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that helps and uh, if you have any questions let me know I'll definitely put some links on uh, where to get that bracket and if you have questions just let me know and I hope you guys are having a good time season is changing kokanees are starting to get dark now because it's getting colder so anyways you guys have a good one and uh Fish on, right? Peace.